Hi, this is Abhimanyu and I'm in conversation with Sandeepa Dhar about her upcoming web series, Dr. Arora. Uh, first of all, thanks to, uh, for taking out the time, Sandeepa. I uh, hope you're doing well. I'm good, how are you? I'm doing good, I'm doing good. You know, were, were you surprised when you heard that Imtiaz Ali is doing a show about a sexologist and how he solves people's problems? Because that is not what Imtiaz Ali usually does. Very true. I was very intrigued for someone who makes love stories, who's known for making, you know, intense yeah. love stories. Um, or even you know stories about journey is is making a show on something like this. Yes, I was definitely very intrigued. And uh, when you came on board and everything, were you apprehensive? Because it is a sensitive issue. If not handled in a right manner, it can it can go go either way. It can either become obscene or it come it can become very serious. So were you apprehensive about the tone and how it, it will be handled? To be honest, I would have been uh, apprehensive if Imtiaz was not attached to the show. Um, there is a certain amount of credibility that Imtiaz brings to the table. You know for a fact that it's not going to be vulgar, cheap, uncomfortable yeah. in any way because if Imtiaz is attaching his name to it um, and right. has written I knew that he's written it. So um, hmm. I knew very well that I was in safe hands. Um, so no, that other than that, um, there was absolutely no doubt whatsoever on the quality of the project it's it's not as much about doubt as it sometimes is about okay how will this be be viewed because eventually anything an actor or a creator creates is up for the interpretation to the public and this is a show and this is a subject which is uh, if if done well it's aimed at all all audiences it does not have an age bar because i was thinking of something like badhai ko very similar in, in, in terms of a content thing that it was a taboo subject, but made very lightly mm -hmm. and it was watched by some everybody else. So I'm hoping the same happens for Dr. Arora. Uh, but was there any sort of apprehension when you, let's say you were discussing work with family. And now your parents come from a different generation who have been conditioned differently, who believe decency is a different thing. So were there any apprehensions about talking to them? Okay, I'm doing this show, which is about this thing, by the way. Uh, yes and no. Uh, <laughs> Yes, it, it is a subject that can make you you yourself be uncomfortable at times because you are not used to talking about such things with your parents. Um, right. But to be honest, I come from a household where, you know, I like I'm very friendly with my uh, friend, um, with my parents. Um, so, you know, whether it's discussing my boyfriends or anything else, I've been very open with them. Um, right. But I understand where you're coming from. Right. Yes, that apprehension could be there, um, but that's what's the intent of the shows. Now we want to remove that apprehension. We want right. to uh, make it into a subject that should be like any other issue, medical issue. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And true. now true. Like, there's a very famous uh, line in the promo also ki jab tak mm. rahega, tak tak rog rahega. So jab tak aap usko, uske mein baat nahi karoge, we'll never be able to right. normalize it. Like, uh, until some time ago, mental health was like that, right? We wouldn't talk about it uh, with mm. our parents or anybody else. It was such a taboo mm. subject, mm. right? So, but someone started talking about it and now it's become pretty normal. Na? It's become very normal mm. to talk very about normal. it. And hence, we're hoping that this becomes that at least a conversation starter. Right. And, and that's the need of the art, I think, I suppose. You know, you, you have to start the conversation around it. Otherwise, it, it will always remain in, in back alleys and not drawing rooms, right. which is not how it should be. The, the more taboo it is, the more... Because, you know, there's a lot of shame attached to this. Yeah. yeah. That is what uh, is... Like, I felt like, you know, until until I actually came to know about the subject, I didn't really think about it. Like, you know, this, is, this yeah. doesn't come in my purview of my world, right. to be honest. Right. I don't hear about these things on a daily basis. But... But it made me think about my childhood in a way. Uh, don't get mm. me wrong, but I know what it is. Um, you know, I, I did my schooling in Bangalore. So for, and if you know any Kashmiri household, you'll know that they either have, um, you know, relatives in Jammu or they have it in Delhi. Yeah. So all True. the winter vacations used to be in Delhi um, uh -huh. in school. So we used to take the train from Bangalore to Delhi, which used to take two and a half days. Yeah. Um, and as a child, obviously, you are very interested in what's happening outside, right? Like when you're in the train. And I used to see these walls painted with all these doctors and, you know. Right, right. You know, signs all the time. I used to keep seeing it. And um, over the years, 
I remember once I'd grown up a little bit more, I'd ask my dad, we, what, you know, what doctor is this? Why are they advertising this doctor so much? And at that time, my parents, of course, being, you know, you know how parents are, they're like, you don't need to know your own, you have to do your own, you have to know everything. So they obviously, you know, um, yeah, shouted yeah. at that at that point in time. So it brought me back to that, that, you know, that was the time, because the show was set in the 90s, the show was set yeah, in exactly. the 90s. Yeah. Um, so, um, although, so I, so when, when I read it, I was like, you know, although it's not my current, it doesn't come in mm. my current preview, but it is a legit issue that no one's really talking about. Right. And right. that becomes the US of the show because you don't see a show like this. So yeah. it also then brings a certain amount of intrigue, like everything, anything new and different brings a certain amount of intrigue to it. Um, whether then how the show is and what happens to it as a much la you know, later thing, we, we, I don't have any control over how, whether you like the show or not. Yeah, 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 yeah. I think by what I've read and uh, like, and the people associated with the show. So I'm hoping that, you know, they will translate what is written onto the uh, screen. Yeah. There's a certain responsibility also, I think, as a maker, um, which mm. they have, because it's also a risk because you're making, a, a, you know, a show on this subject. If you don't make it right, then people in the future probably will think twice before making right, a show right. on this. Because like, they care, uska, you know, um, people didn't like it that much. So let's not even get into yeah. this subject. Let's not take the uh, risk. Is what happened. Yeah. Exactly. So it, it is a risk for the makers as, as well. But then again, see somebody like Intiaz is so confident mm -hmm. um, in his own skin as well and in the writing that he's like, let me attach my name to something like this. Um, right. And then, then see where it goes. I mean, you do realize that it's his uh, name also on the line. Um, right, right. Just us feeling embarrassed about the subject, uh, you know. <laughs> So uh, I, I feel like that gives me more confidence in the right. subject. Well, someone like him is more than willing. More than willing, yeah. You made a very important point that there hasn't been a show like this. And I think there wouldn't have been if streaming platforms hadn't come up like this. Because I don't see Dr. Aurora happening on mainstream television. There is no slot for it. Not evening, not late night. There's just simply no slot. There's no audience for it. Yeah. Nobody would take a risk probably for such a show like this. So do you feel lucky that you are in a time 10 years ago, this would have been impossible to do, probably. Absolutely right. So glad that I am an actor. I'm a working actor at this point in time. Um, so I think the timing is bang on for a show like this. Even like even if there was OTT and this probably would have come about two to three years earlier, yeah. maybe it would still not be accepted like the way it probably would be now. Because I feel like people are a little more open to the idea yeah. now they were a little more comfortable than they would have been earlier. Um, and, you know, full marks to some, you know, a platform like Sony Live, which yeah. is, is known for taking, you know, small, like these stories from smaller towns and stuff like that, but mm -hmm. relevant issues that they're bringing to, you know, the masses out there. So, uh, you know, it, it does take balls uh, to, uh, you know, to uh, green light a project, uh, which right. could be controversial in a sense. Um, but then again, you know, they've got someone like an NTRs, uh, mm -hmm. you know, that, that, that they've got, you know, they've placed the bet on the right horse. Coming to your role here, you know, I, I saw glimpses of it and I have to say, bringing that bossy side, because you have to be Mrs. SP, you know, and even at home and outside this, this certain sort of air that you bring to yourself, was that easy? Because I don't know if you're that sort of, that sort of a person in real life. So, and I've never seen you that sort in uh, on screen as well. This was a very unique side to you that I saw. So how did you bring that? To answer your question, am I like that? Not at all. Uh, you know, the first thing Imtiaz told me, uh, you know, because when he was casting and stuff like that, and he spoke to me about the role, the first thing that he told me was, Sandeepa, the first thing you have to do is not be Sandeepa. <laughs> I'm like, you know that's so easy to say but uh -huh. uh, like it, it's it's such a challenge to to right. be i mean of course it's your job as an actor that's what you get paid to do um right. and that's what we love to do now we keep talking about trying to be somebody different and right. all of that uh it was actually very very uh difficult i tell you there were multiple things to right. it first it's set in the 90s um right i'm i'm not I wasn't aware of the world of Morena in the 90s. 
I, mm. I, if you ask me, I'm aware of Delhi and Bangalore and Bombay. Very different. Very different. Um, so for me, I need to understand that. So I have to start from zero in the sense that understand MP, understand Morena, understand what the people were like back then. Um, mm. Their body language is very different. From a city girl to uh, someone in a small town, mm. completely different body languages. And the way they talk and the way they address each other, everything is so different. Um, and also, I think there is there, there is a lot of fun in work, kind of molding yourself in a way to adapt uh, to another person, like, you know, uh, the characteristics of another person in a way. Right. Um, it's a challenge for sure. But luckily, I had uh, great help with MPRs. I did my workshops with MPRs. So uh, that helped tremendously because he's also the writer of the show, right? So he knew me too like no one else did. So That's I great. picked his brain so much. I irritated him with so many questions about everything. Um, but he was very patient and very, uh, very nicely, you know, very uh, he explained everything to me and spent days and days over it. Um, so it was a very internal process in the sense that, you know, for some roles you have to learn the languages, for some you have to learn, mm -hmm. uh, you know, you have to probably learn action or something like this. This, uh, this was a far different process altogether. And I'm glad I got to do this process with Intias because I don't know if I would have been able to achieve, um, you know, uh, a similar performance with some, some, somebody else because this understanding of actors is so bloody good. Now I know why, you know, actors in his films <laughs> on so well uh, because that there is a way he 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 works with actors um which i was lucky enough to get a glimpse into uh, but yes it was it was a lot of uh, prepping uh, with even with archit the director we did right. so many readings uh, i also think that you know what what i brought to mithu um, was not on paper, but I brought it because uh, I feel like every actor brings something, right. uh, you know, you're hired to bring something uh, to the table, right? So there is a right. lot of investigation we did, lots. Like, I feel like the the, the scenes on paper and what we've done sometimes can be Zameen Asman yeah. the difference. Yeah. Because yeah, yeah, yeah. Also, this is comedy, right? So I'm not sure how much of comedy can you write. It's also in ha, the process. You can't script comedy, not always. It has to be spontaneous. <laughs> something very organically and it kind of works for that scene sometimes mm. also when you watch the show there are th there are a lot of things that i'm doing in the show which are so um quirky and funny and i'm like you couldn't write those things right, right. Uh, so uh, but it was a it was a really nice process in terms of as an actor um mm. i haven't uh, explored this kind of a zone before like this whole comedy dramedy kind of space ah, right. Right, so it's it's not uh, it's not slapstick comedy. It's very situational. Mm. So you have to do it very seriously. You have to do exactly. it with you all. Have to be serious. But the the, yeah. the scene is I'm funny. Not is serious funny. about it. But you're supposed to you, you as a viewer are supposed to find it mm -hmm. funny. Um, so that's also a challenge. Um, so once you watch it, then you tell me whether I've uh, achieved that or not. I I have actually watched five episodes so far. So you know, oh, you getting did? there. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Because oh, I'm going to be then you know, then you know a lot of what I'm yeah. saying. I'm up to five now, six, seven, eight later today. So yeah, I'll probably watch the entirety of it later. Coming to one part that I'm going to wrap it up with the final two questions here. Uh, all, an actor always likes to drop on their experiences. I hope to God you did not have to hear because it's a very different and unique sort of a situation. So, but but actors don't tend to do that. That if, if it's an emotional scene, you have to sort of remember sometimes that okay, when when did I feel this emotion? I'm pretty sure, and I hope to God, you did not have to go to your life or anywhere personal equation in, in bringing Mrs. SP's side of that. But then how do you do that? How do you bring those emotions to the table? How do you bring uh, that concern for a partner in that situation? I think, you know, the baseline of emotions is pretty similar. Hmm. Hmm? Then the situation, if you just react to, if you understand your character and just react in that situation, I think you get it. I, you know, for right, each right. for each scene, sometimes the approach is different. Sometimes you bring your previous memory into play in order to communicate that emotion. Sometimes all you have to do is just be in the moment and understand the situation that you're in, and it will automatically right. come. Right. Um, right. I think that's what, what I did for this. I because obviously I couldn't draw from anywhere. Yeah. I 
you know, from my previous uh, life, I there is nothing in it that I could draw from. Like if you watch right. five, six episodes, then you would know. Uh, yeah, I know. I know. So what I had to do is like just be Mithu for those number of right. days and believe that my life is this. Right, wonderful. Um, that's all I had to do. But one thing I'm which I did, which uh, I, I'm sure you've seen those scenes, but um, I drew heavily from the films of the 90s. Okay, um, right, right. So uh, there, there are, because I felt like, uh, you know, movies, songs, uh, you know, if like influence you so much, uh, especially in smaller towns, I feel, um, right. they get very uh, encouraged and influenced by what they see on screen. So right. there were certain iconic films of uh, of that era and certain songs which right. I have pulled some references from and used it in some of the scenes. This this has been lovely. This has been a, a great chat in particular since I've since I've watched much of the show. It has been very revealing to me in how you approach the character and how you approach the role. So thanks for taking out the time. Thanks. I'm hoping everybody likes it as much as I have so far. I'm and, actually excited uh, for you to watch the last uh, two episodes because. I will, I will, and then I'll, I'll, I'll somehow convey a feedback through so I'll, I'll convey my feedback through social media somehow. Yes, please. That is the only way I can do. It. <laughs> yeah. Thanks a lot for for this, Sandeepa. All the best for the show, and all the best for your future projects as well. Thank you for the Thank time. You. Thank you. Bye bye.